Hi everyone, welcome back to Phonics with Miss Hayes. So we are going to learn some new words and new sounds this week and also look back at the words and sounds from last week. And remember, try to make it silly and fun if you wanna do a silly voice or um, if you have to be quiet, whisper a voice uh, or what have you. So let's jump right in and let's get started with some sight words. So we have 12 new sight words this week. And we're gonna do, as always, say it, spell it, say it. So I'll say the word first, and then when I slide my finger, you say it. And then when I tap, spell it, and then we'll slide to say it again. And remember, repeating it over and over again really makes your brain, helps your brain to remember. We have to help out our brain with what we do. So let's start with Say it, spell it, say it. The first word is father. Spell father. Word. Nice job. The next word is house. Spell house. Word. Nice. The next word is nothing. Spell nothing. Word. Good job. The next word is together. Word. Spell together. Word. Nice job. The next word is almost. Word. Spell almost. Word. The last word down here in blue is country. Word. Spell country. Word. Good job. All right, over here in pink we have covers. Word. Spell covers. Word. Nice job. The next word is earth. Word. Spell earth. Word. Nice. The next word is kinds. Word. Spell kinds. Word. Nice job. The next word is ready. Spell ready. Word. And soil. Spell soil. Word. Nice. And last one is warms. Word. Spell warms. Word. Nice job. All right. So now we're going to look again at those words and we're going to try to read them without my help. So when I point to the word, get it ready in your mouth, get your fish mouth ready. When I slide, say it. In case you forgot it, I'm gonna say it after I slide, just to help us out if we forgot. All right, let's do it. Warms, nice job. Father, excellent work. Ready, you were ready. Country. House. Make sure if you remember and try to say them. Soil. Kinds. Covers. Earth. Almost. Nothing. Together. Now, doing these words with Miss Hayes one time is not going to help you out. So try to read, write, and say these words as many times as possible. You can just do this part of the video over and over until you've got those words in your brain. Speaking of, these words are from last week's video. So hopefully we practice them enough to read them all on our own. This time I'm going to do a jump around, so you really have to watch my finger because you never know where he's going to go. All right, here we go. He's going to go here. 
Again. Of course I'll do it again. Began. We just began. Follow. You're doing a great job of following. Boy. Nice work. Eight. I almost said it too early. Baby. Nice job. Years. Excellent. Begins. I can't trick you. Until. Nicely done. Along. Young. And the biggest one of all. We're doing so much learning. Again, if you don't have these down yet, play this again. Write them, read them, say them, spell them. All right, next we have our new sounds for this week. So we're working on some more vowel pairs. Pairs are two things, like a pair of shoes. So let's look at some vowel pairs we're learning this week. The first card is cook. You can see the cook of the chef. We call it a chef, some people call it a cook. And it's O-O, and we're gonna like, it's almost like someone like hit us in the gut to say the sound. We're gonna go, uh, 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 k, uh, k. So we always kind of picture like a ball just got us, you know, when we're playing and we're like, uh. So it's an uh sound, cook. Now we've had this card many times before because look at all those spellings. We have to learn a lot. So this is, of course, the moon card. And do you notice, look at that cook card in the background. And look at this right here. Oh, oh, again. So oh, oh has two sounds. So the first sound is uh, and the second sound is ooh, like moon. Ooh, we like to do that. We like to be ghosts when we do the moon sound. Ooh. So our moon card is next. And last, we've seen this one too, but usually it has a uniform on top, but I decided I wanted it to be a unicorn because I can. So I printed one with a unicorn on top because all of these cards are at school. All right, so we have the U card. There's no OO on it. That's nice. OO only has two sounds. But there are a couple other spellings from the moon card. So we have some matching spellings. So... Hopefully that's not so far away that you cannot see. But we've got U on both cards. We have UE on both cards. We have EW on both cards. So let's do these cards just like we do in school. I'm gonna pull you closer just in case that writing is so little. Okay, right, okay. Hopefully it won't be shaky. All right, so the first card, remember we say its name, then the sound, and then the spelling. Okay, let's do it. Card, cook, sound, uh, spelling, o, o. Nice job. Card, moon, sound, ooh. First spelling, o, o. Second spelling, e, w. Third spelling, u, e. Fourth spelling, o, u. Fifth spelling, U. Sixth spelling, U, hmm, E. Now we like to say that, hmm, so we know there's a letter in the middle. And our last card is not a uniform, it's a unicorn. And the sound is U. And the first spelling is U. Second spelling, U, hmm, E. Third spelling, U, E. Fourth spelling, E. W. So a lot of people think that you, moon and uni, unicorn are kind of the same, like you, ooh. But if you really listen, there's a, a sound in front of, this one is ooh, this one is you. There's a yeah in front of this sound. So they're just a little bit different. And so it can be tricky to decide whether it's unicorn or moon. So let's Let's look at these sounds. So when we have these on our sound chart, a lot of them, as you can see, have two, and now this one has three different sounds. 
So we're gonna practice it here together. So when we see this sound and I tap it, it's gonna go like this. It's gonna go, uh, or, ooh. So cook, uh, uh, or, ooh. Now you try it. Uh, or, ooh. And for ooh, we can do our silly sound. We like to go, ooh, like we're a ghost. So if you wanna do that, you totally can. Now EW now has two sounds and it's gonna look like this. You or ooh. Now you try it. You or ooh. <laughs> UE is the same as EW. It's gonna look like you or ooh. Your turn, do it with me. You or ooh. Okay, this guy's tricky. He has three sounds now. He's got his short sound, a uh, uh, umbrella that we learned in kindergarten. He has his long sound, you you uniform. And now he also has his ooh sound. So here's what it's gonna be like. It's gonna go when I tap it. It's gonna go. Let me make sure I get the right order right. Umbrella, uniform, moon. So it's. Uh, you, ooh. So now you try it with me. Uh, you, ooh. Yeah, he's got three sounds now. U, hm, e has two sounds, just like E, W, and U, E. It's gonna sound like this. U, or, ooh. So on the next page, on our sound page, I'll say two sounds or three sounds, and hopefully we'll remember all those sounds. O, U right now. Next week it'll have more sounds, but this week it just says, ooh, that's a new one. And then to review from last week, we have or, are, er. Let's do that together. Or, are, er. Nice job. So we're gonna see all these on the next page. Let's try it out. Okay, here we go. I'll leave those behind me so we can see our new sounds, hopefully. Okay, so right here, so I'll say two sounds and then when I tap, say it with me, okay? Ready? Two sounds, uh, or, ooh. Try it by yourself, ready, two sounds? I can hear you all the way through the camera. All right, here's one we know, ready? Arr. good. Two sounds, let's try it together. You, or, Ooh, now you try it on your own. Nice, nice. Okay, here's this one from last week. Err, nice job. This guy's got three sounds. Umbrella, unicorn, moon. Okay, ready? Three sounds. Uh, you, ooh. Nice job. Okay, try it on your own. Ready? Nice. All right, two sounds. You or ooh. Okay, try that one out on your own. So many ghosts in here today. All right, here's this one from last week. Err, nice job. Okay, two sounds. Remember, cook first. Uh or ooh. Nice job. Ooh. Two sounds, you or ooh. Nice job. This one's got three again. Ready? Uh, you, ooh. Now you try it. Good job. And last one, two sounds, you or ooh. Nice job. So as we are learning more and more sounds for these letters and these spellings, you'll have to try each one when you come across a new word. So if you have a word with O-O, you'll have to try U uh or U to see which one it is. All right, let's see what we have next. So on this page, we're going to spell a few of these words. So the first one is gonna have the uh sound. So let's look at some uh words. Okay, this is all you. So this says 
Gah, good job. Remember, it's undercooked, so OO says, uh, good job. Let's blend it together. G, uh. And this says, da. Blend it together. Good. And the word is, good job. All right, let's look at another one here. This sound says, oh, good job. Remember, we're under cook, so OO says, uh. Nice job, blend it together. Look. And the last sound says, k. Blend it together. Look. Word, look. Nice job. All right, so now we're gonna move to moon, where it's gonna say ooh in these words. Okay, let's start with this cluster. This cluster says, sk. Nice job. OO says, ooh. Good job. Let's blend it together. Sk, ooh. Bet you can guess the last one. The sound is p. Nice. Blend it together. Sk, oop. Word, scoop. Nice job. Okay, so that's one spelling for ooh. Let's look at a different spelling for ooh. This says n. This says ooh. Put it together. New. And the word is new. Good job. Let's look at one more spelling for ooh. Okay, here's another cluster. We know this cluster says grr. Nice job. OU says ooh. Put it together. Grew. And this says p. All right, put it together. Group. And the word is group. So we have the same sound, but three different spellings. Now let's look at unicorn. U hm e says you. This says s. Put together. Use. The word is use. Nice job. This letter says k. Nice. U e says you. Blend it together. K. You. The word is q. Nice job. Let's do one more. This cluster says full. Nice. U hm e says you. Let's put that together. Full you. I bet you can guess the last letter. This one says t. Blend it together. Flute. And the word is flute. Nicely done. Okay, so on the next page, it's your job to sound these words out using the different sounds that you've learned. So when you see OO, remember to try uh or oo. So you're gonna have to try different sounds on different words. So I'm gonna point to the word. I'll say word and slide and you. Shout it out, silly voice, whisper voice, whatever you gotta do. All right, here we go. Good, that's the word good. Way, good, A-Y says A. Bowls, nice, O-W says O. Word, good, forks, good job. Word, look, good, this is having the cook sound in it. Word, good, we just did that one, flute. Word, good, it's s, ooh, su. And this capital letter is a big clue. It's, what is that telling us? It's somebody's name, nice job. Word, homes, very nice job. This s means more than one, good job. Okay, so this is a compound word, so we're gonna look at the first word. That word says, good, up. We're gonna look at the second word. 
that word says side. Now put it together. Upside. Nice job. Okay, look at this one. Word. Good, queen. Now this is not a compound word, but it's a really big word. So we're still going to cover to help us out. So let's read that first part. That first part says burr. The second part says row. Put it together. Burrow. Good. That means to dig in the ground like little animals like to burrow. Nice. Same thing here. Let's look at, it's kind of a long word. So let's look at that. First part says fell. Nice job. Second part says low. Let's put it together. Fellow. Good. It's kind of like an old word for friend or kid or hey fellow. How you doing? <laughs> Okay, so last but not least, it is your turn. So I am going to hold up two stories this week and you can choose which one you'd like to read or you can read both, which is never bad. So you can read both or one and then hunt and write down words with these spellings. O-O-U-U-E. U me O U and E W. I'm also going to hopefully have a Google assignment for this so that you can turn it in there. All right, so let's look at our stories. So pause whenever you need to. I'm just gonna kind of hold them up, count for a few seconds and take them down. That was the first story, and here's the second one, which is all about Bugs Homes, so that's kind of cool. There we go, now I can see the whole page. And that was book number two. Until next time, keep reading, keep writing, keep learning, and keep having a good time. I'll see you later.